I'm, I'm glad to have an opportunity to speak about the vision of First Press and Trinity. As I was in the process of discernment and, and, and saw the church information form, which listed the vision, we envision a vibrant church without borders for all who share a desire to be accepted into a diverse Christian community may find a home. And I connected with that second sentence, which reads, we desire to become a congregation committed to grow both spiritually and in numbers. I connected because I see a revival happening here, a revival that is for the individuals in order to connect with their passions, as well as with this congregation, connecting back to its mission. The mission that I had seen over the years with First Press and Trinity was a mission of being involved in the community, a mission that was spirited by individuals who wanted to make a difference in their community. And for me, that's exciting because I connect with helping those in order to find what their passions are, supporting that passion, and allowing them to grow. And that, that makes the growing in numbers for individuals as well as this church community. So that became, for me, this opportunity that we could see a revival here at First Press and Trinity. And, and that's, that's been my inspiration to continue to be in leadership here and, and to continue to support all who are seeking to grow, as our statement has said, spiritually. And as that number grow, then of course, it, it spills out into the congregation, which allows us to grow in numbers. So that has been a privilege and, and an honor to serve, and, and truly the vision for here at First Press and Trinity. Okay, my mission today is to tell you about one of the very important mission projects that this church has, First and Trinity. Along with um, Livingston Presbyterian Church, we go to the um, Memorial West Church for a bistro or soup kitchen the second Saturday of every month. And uh, it is, we've been doing it for about a year now, and it's a very, very worthwhile project. So, uh, one of the things we do is we serve the food, we furnish the food, and we also help with the clothing. Um, just letting you know that this is a very, very worthwhile thing that we do with this church. Thank you. Being involved in church and society is maybe my most exciting and meaningful church experience um, because I'm able to meet with other people who are committed to peace and justice and helping the vulnerable and um, dealing with all kinds of issues that should be on the agenda for the church and for society and the state and national, global, but often are not. You know, some of the issues that uh, the Church and Society Committee deals with have to do with the vulnerable in society, the people in prison, uh, immigrant detainees. Um, we worked on such issues as excessive bail bonds uh, that is unfair to the poor people and um, pr uh, excessive prisoner phone rates that uh, doesn't allow uh, prisoners and uh, detainees to um, contact their family members. What I see is very important about what we do for health, for church and society and for mission is, is working on a lot of health issues, M having the, the, the community understand the importance of uh, staying in tune with what's happening in the area of AIDS and HIV, what's happening also in other public health areas such as the Ebola outbreak that happened in, in West Africa, um, also in terms of just how that affects us here in the United States and what it means for, for how that also impacts communities who are West African communities living in this area and how we deal with all of those issues as they come together.
spending in the past year on a full like day series of uh, 20, I'm saying September 2013 to July 2014. And it was in, well, it had, had come to Freetown in. Thank you. 